Google Cloud Next 2017 has hosted a rich array of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch Instant Insights, a GCP developer's guide to building real-time data analysis pipelines, then stay tuned, because here's the recap. Google Cloud Platform offers a variety of services that you can use to analyze high-volume continuous data streams. Fully managed services such as PubSub, Dataflow, and BigQuery allow you to focus on generating the insights you need rather than the distraction of managing distributed systems. For example, this is a real-time visualization of taxi rides in New York City. The incoming data stream is managed by PubSub, Google's global publish and subscribe service with guaranteed at least once message delivery. This is a lot of data, way too much to be processed and visualized by our client device directly. To enable that, we need to adjust the data stream in a way that's more manageable to the client. That's where Cloud Dataflow fits in. Cloud Dataflow is a high-level service and programming model for pipeline data processing. In our example, we need to reduce the incoming stream volume so the visualization can display it in real time, which we can do by creating a pipeline in Dataflow. We start with an unbounded collection of raw taxi data from PubSub, and then apply a sequence of transforms. First, we window the data by timestamp, and then we bucket by proximity. This way, for each window of time, we can find taxis that are near to each other. Next, for each window and location combination, we count the number of taxis and output that as a new collection via PubSub. For our needs, we wrote a custom transform. However, that's not always the case, as Dataflow supplies a number of standard transforms like windowing, mapping, and count. Both the incoming and outgoing collections are unbounded, so the pipeline will run until the heat death of the solar system, until it's stopped, or until someone spills coffee on the entire internet all at once. And because it is fully managed, the backend takes care of everything, from optimizing the execution graph, spinning up VMs, staging the pipeline code to the VMs, managing I.O. with PubSub, and managing persistent state for fault tolerance. So you don't need to think about any of that. Instead, we can go straight to the UI that shows us how the pipeline is working. Here, the volume of our taxi stream is reduced from roughly 20,000 MPS to roughly 2,000 MPS, which is low enough for our visualizer to handle. While Dataflow can help process your data, in order to gather insights, you can leverage BigQuery, Google's solution for enterprise data warehousing. Using Dataflow, we can create one or more ETL pipelines that ingest the content into BigQuery, allowing us to perform queries and analysis. For example, in addition to the raw data, we could also identify rides to the airport, and then run simple SQL queries to compare the ride volume and average fare between airport taxis and the rest of New York. Not to mention the time-based trends, letting us know the best time to catch a cab to the airport. And these are just a few examples to inspire ideas about how you can use these tools to gain insights into your own data. Check out the full session video to learn more about what you can do with Cloud Dataflow, as well as demos and detailed examples of generating instant insights using New York City taxi data. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.